you prefer to work by recording in your drum parts, that's easy to do in Patterning 3. Switch to the drum pads view, and it'll show you eight pads for triggering the different sounds. Turn on the metronome so you can hear the current tempo and hit record. If you don't like a part, you can hold down Alt and clear that instrument. When you record, the steps are written to the nearest beat, but if you go to the nudge layer in the layers view, you can see that each step has also recorded the offset for how far off the beat you were. You can use this to either move things off the beat intentionally or to quantize them onto the beat. Alternately, in the loop quantize page, you can have patterning automatically throw away that nudge information and quantize the loop. By turning on quantize, you're basically turning that nudge setting down. At a 0%, the nudge setting works all the way. At 50%, each of those nudge amounts is halved. And with quantize all the way up, the nudge is ignored and every step is just played exactly on the grid. With our record pads, the center of each pad is the loudest velocity, with quieter velocities as you get farther away from the center. And you can see that those velocities were in fact recorded with the loop.